next, our next feature, uh, speaker is Roger Kincaid. Uh, seldom seen, but uh, uh, often heard. Roger is best known for his work on the radio with X92.9 and AM770 here in Calgary. But he is also an entrepreneur and startup founder. Uh, Roger tells us he loves pitching ideas to audiences, uh, audiences, so he is really looking forward to meeting you all right now. Roger, come on up. was taller than me. <laughs> there, right. Confidence. Uh, hi, thanks very much for having me. It's really fun to be here tonight. Um, and yeah, I think we can just roll. I'm ready to rock. I guess topple means something different to everybody. Um, like to knock over. I like to define it as to unbalance. Uh, when we say knock over, in my mind, it commits us to a new state, a state of being knocked over. But when we say unbalance, we have more choice and control over rebalancing ourselves. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. The first thing that came to my mind um, when I was told about the topic was this guy. <laughs> if you had one of these growing up, you know that it could not be knocked over, at least that you could knock it over, but it would bounce back up. Um, and, and you also learn that clowns are for punching. <laughs> you might have developed a, an irrational but perfectly normal fear of clowns if one of these lived in the darkness of your basement. But here's how it worked. It was all about that low center of gravity, right? Uh, physics. I mean, you punch that thing, but a center of gravity is so low, so expertly designed, that he's able to stand back up. The resilience of this, you could knock it off balance all day long, but it was always able to stand right back up and take another punch right in the nose, as hard as you could, as if it was your brother. <laughs> well, you and I have a much higher center of gravity. This makes us more likely to tip over when we lean to the side or, heaven forbid, get punched in the face. It also means it's more work for us to get back up. We can become more like that clown, though. We can become more stable when we broaden our base of support, lower our sense of gravity, become more grounded, and establish a firm and solid foundation. A sturdy, well-built foundation. This is what keeps us centered, it keeps us grounded, it makes us more robust, more resilient, ready to take whatever comes, and you can handle all kinds of shots in the nose and still be standing when you've got a broad uh, range of support and a sturdy foundation that keeps you grounded. <laughs> when I say we or us or you or me, I'm talking about our ideas, maybe our ideals. It's quite obvious to me that it's good to be grounded, unless, of course, you're a cow or an airplane, or if you are a child, I guess it's also bad to be grounded. But when we talk about our ideas and our ideals, this is what defines us, isn't it? I mean, don't we, aren't we who we think we are? Don't we have relationships and traverse about the world as who we believe that we are? Um, and those ideas sometimes come under fire. People trying to knock us off balance based on who we believe we are. Like this piece of lunacy, for example. This is a bad idea. It's actually a cluster fun of really bad ideas. We could start with the notion that this grammatically implies that all Skittles are poisonous and that the lethal dose is three. But whoever put this up doesn't have a mastery of the English language, so instead we get to this bigotry right here. But if this kind of logic were allowed to persist, this would be far more accurate. If I had a bowl of Skittles and I told you that just three would kill you, why would you do anything? Why would you ever unlock the doors of the bank or go on a date? Horrible things will happen to you when you take a handful of Skittles. <laughs> this is a picture of 9-11. This is a schema. A schema is something we know. 2,996 people died in this attack. It's the single strongest image of domestic terrorism that we have in the West, and when I show it to you, you immediately know what I'm talking about. The message I'm trying to convey is that nearly 3,000 people died. It can't happen again. Security is too important. This is not a schema. It's a picture of Pittsburgh, and you probably don't care. <laughs> There's no emotional response for you to have here, but the fact is, is that that population has been killed off by gun violence in North America in the last 10 years. That's 100 9-11s. You see, these messages are designed to get to your emotions, to knock you off balance so that you'll respond in a certain way. Just like sleazy car salesmen give you pitches, try and get you to respond a certain way. The important thing is that these messages are designed. They're designed to elicit that response based on your insecurities. This is a picture of a Syrian refugee who's just traversed the Mediterranean. He's exhausted. He's finally reached the safety, but the uncertainty 
of the shoreline in greece and when you see this image you're a good person you think to yourself how could i help that man how could i help that person i don't know what he's been through but how could i help i'll put this picture up to contrast the last picture and maybe make you wonder if you have the same response when you see this in your own community in your own home so effective messages are designed to target our insecurity. There's a lot of young men who don't get to have showers with two sexy women, so they have to buy the right soap. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a lot of women who feel that they're not beautiful, so maybe they should change their soap. And the reason these two ads are important to me is because they're from the same company. Right? <laughs> it's when our leaders adopt the same strategies that we really need to be on guard. We're all important enough. We all deserve to be grounded. We owe it to ourselves to make sure that messages like uh, uh, we can end poverty through policy, messages like uh, token advancements of, of women in politics is actually uh, advancing feminism, or messages that you're with us or you're with the child pornographers are messages that we need to take to heart and fight for. No, we need to, be, we need to scrutinize these messages. We need to be grounded. We need to lower our center of gravity, broaden our base of support. We need to establish a foundation so that when people target our insecurities, we can stand rigid and instead of reacting and carrying water for the people for whom, uh, who designed these messages to impact us, then instead we can have the meaningful conversations in our communities and in the spheres that we live in where we can say, no, let's think about this based on fact, information, reason, experience, history. We can figure out what's right. And we can stand back up and not be knocked off balance by all of these messages that we're constantly impacted with every day. So what do we learn from this clown? Well, a lot. Stability, character, resiliency comes from your well-structured, carefully placed underpinnings. But we can also learn that sometimes clowns are for punching. <laughs>